Good morning everybody, welcome back at Movie World this morning to have a look at what's going on for Tweety's 80th birthday. Uh, we'll have a look at some merch, we'll check out DC Rivals to see if they've got that going again yet. Uh, there's a new parade on, we'll hang around and have a look at that. Wander around, check out some food and see what else is different. Alright, while it's nice and quiet, let's uh, turn the camera around and go and have a look. A couple of new hats that I haven't seen before. Bugs Bunny, what's up Doc? And have a look at the Lola one. It's pretty cute. And then we've got a bit of uh, 80 years of Tweety merch. I taught, I tore a putty tat. I don't mind that one, that, that one's pretty cool. Retro, retro looking shirt. The ice cream parlour is back open here at uh, Movie World. It's got the same decals as uh, the one at SeaWorld. And it looks like it's Peter's ice cream now. No more Tom and Jerry's. Uh, ben and Jerry's, sorry, Ben and Jerry's. New drink on offer at the moment. Chunky Choc Wafer Frappe. Uh, made with Kit Kats, eight bucks. You get that from the Village Bean on Main Street. Looks pretty nice, but that's something for Alex to try, not me. The buffet is back open at Rick's Cafe Americana. Uh, now says Marketplace Buffet. $35 adults, 20 bucks for children. We won't eat there today, but I'll see if we can uh, sneak in there and have a little look, see what's on offer at the buffet. For the school holidays, Chowtown is still here. Boost juice and donut time. That Chowtown has some really, really delicious food. They are in the process of doing a mur mural down here beside Willy Wonka's. As you can see, this one is exclusive to Movie World and is one of 80 located around the world. That's what it looks like so far coming along quite nicely looks a little bit like that t-shirt I think but there you go the carousel is starting to take shape take shape uh, should be good to go by Christmas I reckon Christmas holidays be back operating again as you can probably hear the splash pad is back open it's had a bit of paint a bit of a refresh Really nice, quite warm today, there's kids in here already. Wild West Falls is back open, just about perfect weather to be riding this. Nice and hot. Is there actually a bad time of year to be riding it? What's a little bit of water? Never hurt anybody. You are going to get very wet, but that's the thing, extremely wet. Not long now guys, till fright nights. Uh, can't wait to get in here and get a little bit scared. They say it's a 45 minute wait for Scooby, but if we walk around here, uh, not a soul in line. Nowhere near a 45 minute wait. Here's uh, Tweety at the front here of the park. Photo, oh look at that butt, shaking the butt. Birthday boy, very cute. Woo. So down this end of the park, guys, uh, Green Lantern is still shut. DC Rivals is still shut. Uh, Justice League is still shut. Uh, and Batwing is the only one that is open at the moment. And DC Rivals still remains situated at the bottom of the loop here. Not, I know they had cranes here last night trying to drag it through. Obviously that didn't work, so they'll have to go to plan B or C. Not 100% sure what went wrong, but I don't believe that there's any way the wind would have stopped it from finishing its run. And there you go. Just sitting here, doing nothing. Superman is a posted 60 minute wait. Haven't seen it run for a little bit, might be having a few issues with it, but uh, the line is all inside at the moment, which isn't too bad. I don't think you're going to get too much of a construction update with the new Wizard of Oz area. 
there's no actual way of getting in there and seeing what's going on uh, or filming it but hopefully hopefully come fright nights they open this area and we can get through here might be able to get a sneak peek at what's going on let me help you out here Tweety come on out beautiful all right everyone we have something special we want to say to you Tweety ready everyone one two three happy Uh, they are all leaving now, hopping back in the pink limo. I'm not sure if this show is on multiple times a day, but it's meant to be at 10.40. And now they're off. Bye, guys. <sighs> Bye. So we did end up having the buffet. It is $35 a person. Quite a bit of salad. Nice looking salad. And we have some chips, chicken bites, hot dogs, bread rolls, baked fish, uh, lamb shanks maybe, a bit of pizza, quite a lot of pasta and pizza, Ooh, nice looking roast, roast veggies, oh, rice, stir fries, pizza. Mmm, looks pretty good. Let's get a plate and get into it. Uh, for desserts, there's a lot of fruit. Oh, raspberries, freckles, cheesecakes. Not sure if you can eat the lollies or not. guys that's all i got time for today from movie world hope you enjoyed a look at that tweety's 80th birthday celebrations for the school holidays don't forget that the park is open from 9am and closes at 6pm so extended trading hours for the holidays uh the buffet i think it's worth the money there wasn't a hell of a lot of variety in there but for $35, you can't go wrong. But that, that does not include a drink. So just bear in mind, if you're going in there, you need to purchase your own drink of some description. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you again shortly from somewhere else. All right.